Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAT coaching. Now students, before we discuss this question, let me tell you that if you're a serious CAT aspirant, then please follow these steps. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this students, if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Okay, students, now let us come to the question. Please pause the video and give this question a try. It is given that M and N are positive integers and we have two quadratic equations which are having real roots. We have to find smallest possible value of M plus N. So because it is having real roots, so I hope all of you know that B square minus 4AC should be greater than or equal to 0. So from the first equation, I can say that B square minus 4AC, so that is 4 into 1 into 2N should be greater than or equal to 0. So from here, I can say that M square should be greater than or equal to 8 times N. This is the first relation which we have. Now here, if I apply B square minus 4AC greater than or equal to 0, so we'll have 4n square minus 4 into 1 into m. So that is minus 4m greater than or equal to 0. On taking 4 common, we'll get n square minus m greater than or equal to 0 or n square is greater than or equal to m. So these are the two relations which we have. Now students, we need to find minimum sum of m plus n. So obviously students will try to put minimum values. Now, uh, let's start with this first equation. Okay, if I put n is equal to 1, if I put n is equal to 1, then obviously m, m square, m square will be greater than or equal to 8. Now, because m square is greater than or equal to 8, we need the value of m minimum to be 3. So students, if I put n is equal to 1, m is equal to 3, but will it going to satisfy this equation? If I put n as 1, I'll get 1 square that is 1 greater than equal to m, m key value 3. Is it satisfying? No, it is not satisfying. So that means n is equal to 1 is not going to work. Okay, n is equal to 1 is not going to work. So let's take n is equal to 2. Now students, if I put n is equal to 2, so m square, m square will be greater than or equal to 16. m square is greater than or equal to 16. So that means m key value minimum 4 honi chahi. Minimum value of m should be 4. Now, will this satisfy? If I put n is equal to 2, I'll get left hand side to be 4. Right hand side is also 4. And they are equal to each other. Yes, they can be equal. So that means students, these are the minimum values of n and m okay these are the minimum values of n and m and we have to find the smallest possible sum so answer would be 2 plus 4 6 is the correct answer very easy question guys all of you could have done it option fourth is the correct answer thank you everyone